Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Wednesday afternoon here on Cobalt Press. I am your littlest red dot, joined by our Cobalt in chief, Wolfgang Bauer himself. Uh, welcome in, Wolfgang. And I might have muted you. I'm so sorry if I did. Backstage. There we go. <laughs> I am unmuted. I cannot Hi. be silenced. How are Hi, you? It's great to be here. I am doing okay. I am excited. You know, I see that bright light down the tunnel. And it looks like Gen Con, right? Oh, and is that what that bright light is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are gearing up for both. Gen Con. Yeah, we we're actually uh, yes. back this week to talk a little bit more Gen Con. Last week, we chatted about uh, the panels that might be coming down the pipeline. But, you know, one of the biggest types of Gen Con is always the dealer hall. And we're excited because we are back with a Cobalt Press booth this year. And who better to come talk to us about what you might find at that booth than Wolfgang Bauer himself. Mm. So I'm very excited. We might open up if anybody has some questions uh, to answer the first one. Why, yes. Yes, we will be at Gen Con. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my mic has gotten all squeaky. You sound like you're on helium, Dot. Oh, no. Well, you, you're... No. About, oh, wait, are you back? I'm back. I'm back? Can yeah, I me? can hear you. You do not sound squeaky, though. <sighs> your, your, your camera did freeze in, like, the perfect uh, thought uh, position. You looked very pensive. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Good. Um, so, um, you know, like I said, well, we might I've review some of the, the panels, hall. but yes. I want to hear all about the dealer hall from you. Now, you've been going to Gen Con for how long, Wolfgang? Yes. Um, wow, you're still coming in broken up, but I think I heard the words dealer hall. I did that's... hear the words dealer hall. And I have been thinking about what we're bringing to the show for like six months, right? I've just been planning and we have new stuff and we have old stuff and we have a bunch of kobolds ready to talk to you um but the first thing to say of course is it's booth 1855 um and we need to put like booth 1855 on our t-shirts or like next year i want the staff t-shirt to like have the back say follow me to kobold press at booth 1855 or <laughs> Whatever our booth number is. If we'll also um, turn to booth number 1855. But, but this year we weren't quite. <laughs> right? Um, but what are we going to have there? That's the thing. Oh, right. I have a bunch of those. Uh, this is the one that we had last year that everybody was like, oh, what is that? And I, is it Elric? And I'm like, no, we do not have the Elric license, but he's got a sword. It is the Warlock Grimoire. Yes. And I always shout it out because it's got, I mean, it's like 300 pages of stuff for 25 bucks, right? Wow. And it's got sort of Justine Jones old school art, and it's got a ton of stats. Oh, mm. no, that was that was Jeff. Oop, no. Well, you're going to have to come to the booth to find it. <laughs> um, but that's volume two in the series that started over here. Same deal. And I'm always like, people don't know what these things are. They're from the Patreon, of course. But yes. brought into physical... Oh, man. I love this Noel here. He's just... Oh, he is. I don't know. Look at that. I love the old school pen and ink. It's one of like the greatest joys right? of the warlocks to me. They they feel old schooly. Of course, the stats are all new. The writing and the design is all 5th edition. But, um, but it's got that vibe, which I yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. So I we're going to have those. And I always push those on people because I love them because um, they're a good deal. But I'm going to show you the shiny thing we're going to have this year that. Um, Ooh, shiny. I don't know, shiny thing. Here is a shiny. It's not even the only shiny thing, but there's this one. <gasps> we, have, we found a couple of cases of Vault of Magic limited edition and we're bringing it. Um, and of course, it's all blacker than black, that crazy cool. design. But it's, you know, it's our, our, it's our treasury. It's the book players should be gifting to their game masters every single <laughs> holiday holiday season. season. Um, I say, but it's a really I nice addition. You, and, I can show you. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gen Con's a holiday, right? It's, it's like a gaming holiday. And it's it's a great thing to stack up for for the holidays. So if y'all want to see it, like here's the. 
very nice, still really shiny, but not as shiny as the one Wolfgang showed. <laughs> right? But maybe maybe you're one of these people who doesn't want to schlep the shiny, right? Like, this is the pocket edition. It's soft yes. cover. Look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's half the price, right? So it's like, okay, paperback. Uh, actually, okay, well, this will tell you something about how I do my reference work when I'm doing design or product lookups. <gasps> like, uh -oh, there's the pocket these. edition of this one. There's the pocket edition of that <laughs> one. And there's the pocket edition of this one and then there's the pocket edition of that one and i wish i could say the pocket edition of tome of heroes would be there but i don't think it's going to be ready oh, but yes, i have to hold out for editions. that one come by the booth carry yeah carry something that's not heavy right like read it on the plane i don't know uh -huh. pocket editions so. are my favorite i love them i have a couple i swear by them they're the best con books uh because they're not they're not too big you know Right, and they fit right on the shelf here. They're they're quick and easy look up. Sometimes, I mean, I'm a little old school. I could just go out and look it up online sometimes, or I could open a PDF. <laughs> but when I've already got a document open on the screen, I want something. Anyway, I want something next to it. I want something that's not on the screen. Um, I should talk about the big thing we've got, right? Yes, tell Have tell me a big this? thing. I, I don't know. I don't I'm, know. If you I tend to keep myself in the dark until Cobalt chats so they can see my true surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've talked about this on Cobalt chats at all, but we did this book for players, right? Oh. It's like a Tome of Beast, but for players. Oh. And yeah. Oh, come on. We're going to have a ton of Tome of Heroes there. Like, it's beautiful the back is beautiful it's going to be there for people who are like skeptical of kickstarter and would rather see it yes you've got one and Guys, i have been already like going through mine but um, me too i've already got ideas for builds and of course if all of you don't know you can actually see some of these builds in action and play um, one right after this, cause we're rebroadcasting uh, to YouTube, but you can also check us out on Thursday nights over on Athena's channel. That's half dragon AP. We're actually running some cool Toma heroes, uh, you know, stuff. Yes. So I think Tome of heroes is going to be, actually, it might be over in the cobalt press, uh, organized play space. I don't know if you've talked it about is. that. We have our own. Um, I did say that there were community space. games. Yeah, we have our own play yeah. space. So it's not just like you can sign up for our games, but we have our own space for it. And to top it off, I believe, right. now correct me if I'm wrong, we are using pre-built character gens from Tome of Heroes for those games. Yes. Yes, we are. So we're we're using characters. I think there's a gunpowder class or two that make it into the pre-gen characters in the Cobalt Chronicles. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just calling it Cobalt HQ. <laughs> um, and it's, it's not in the all it's it's over in the in the hotel i think it's the west yep. thank you oh, for that link in chat i'll this. top this up here too there but yes there it is right um it's in the events section uh we're gonna be running i don't know 12 hours 16 hours a day um and i think the events are close to sold out but they're not Entirely. fully so there are some slots Oh, see, now I say it, and by the time this... <laughs> about, the well, time you know what? If you waited this long... Page. Yeah, there's... um, You should definitely check it out. I think there are a few mm -hmm. tables or seats left, if I remember correctly, and the same thing for a few of our panels. A couple have sold out, but not all of them have. So if you um, if you had panels in mind from our discussion uh, last and week, I've been on those too. I have some personal panels I want to talk about. Oh. My old buddy, Bruce Nesmith, Worked on like Morrowind and Elder Scrolls stuff and Zenimax and I don't know. He he is a creative director there in the software world, video gaming for years and years. But before that, Bruce and I worked together at TSR in Lake Geneva. And he worked on Ravenloft and he worked on all sorts of stuff. But he and I are doing two panels. Um one of which is Friday at 11 a.m. called What Tabletop RPGs Can Learn From Video Games. Um, and you know, that was just an excuse for me to go play some video games again. 
Um, <laughs> no, actually, we're taking some lessons from from the world of video, and and both he and I have some experience in in both camps. Um, so that's, that's at 11 o'clock on Friday. The other one, the other panel that, that Bruce Nesmith and I are doing at Gen Con is called What Makes a Great Villain? Uh, that's Saturday at one o'clock. Um, they're both free. They're like free tickets. Just show up. Um, and we are basically going to take uh, decades of game design experience and just distill it for you into, um, into a few things that will make your villains hated more than usual. Oh, um, I imagine there's some game masters out there who want that. Yeah, right? Like, if your players grind their teeth, you're doing it right. Um, but <laughs> we're going to talk about villains, and we're going to talk about uh, the, the, the long history and relationship between tabletop and video games, because, of course, talent has gone both ways there. Yes. Um, so those are going to be two fun panels. I know you already talked about all the other panels, Dot. I did. So I talked a little bit about I'm all the other panels. I'm not going to repeat all those. Yep. Well, I can say yep. if if you are looking for, if that's not enough Cobalt Press for you at Gen Con, um, panels are available, but we have a couple mm. of live shows. And for those of you not in physical attendance, those live shows will actually broadcast to the Gen Con TV twitch channel so you can tune in and catch those and our one on saturday at 2 p.m is using our new tome of heroes so uh, you can tune in and check out uh jason uh azevedo from realm smith tv alongside b day walters gabe james games and our brother uh, conowich yeah was I informed? I think I was informed. Yeah, you're informed on that. <laughs> yeah, Wolfgang, you know, th this that is, is, what, see, this so is what I do. Yeah, now, now you can get your whole your whole gaspy. Yeah, uh, Jason's going to be GMing, and so we're actually going to be showing off some of the Tome of Hero builds live, but we're also going to be making a really yes. super-duper important announcement based on our next Kickstarter. So if you want the heads up about what's coming down the pipeline, mm -hmm. you either want to make sure to be there in person or tune in to Gen Con yes. TV, 2 p.m. Saturday. That is Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you might see something that uh, catches your fancy. Right. All right. Well, as long as we're talking about stuff that Gen Con is broadcasting, Gen Con TV, uh, the other thing that happens the night before is the Any Awards, right? <gasps> yes. Cobalt Press is uh, nominated for one Any Award. True. and has won an any award which is weird we've won it before the show but the one we're nominated for is a book we'll have at the show it's the scarlet citadel cartography the maps in this okay if you came to visit us at gen con last year we kind of shoved this book in your direction and wouldn't shut up about the maps right because there's a map folio that comes with it and we just talked your ear off about it and we basically sold all, all of, of these. them. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any left. And then, like, you know, Quiddy and Brennan Lee Mulligan and people played Scarlet Citadel on, mm -hmm. on Roll20. Um, yeah, there we are for that cartography. And, I mean, the maps are great. And we will have those any nominated uh, battle maps at the show. So they'll be at the booth. Um, and then on Friday, we're... We're going to go down to the Any Awards and we're just going to stand there going, are our maps better than their maps? <laughs> we think so. And if not, oh, how ugly do Cobalt Riots get, Dot? I mean, I mean, they can get really ugly, especially when you start breaking out the kazoos. <laughs> right. so, I hope we win. I really do. But even if we don't, it's an honor to be nominated. The maps are fantastic. People yeah. have been playing with them for a year since we uh, since we released it pretty much around Gen Con last year. Yeah, I've um, seen some really and... uh, awesome pictures that people have put online for us, which I think is really right? um, like of them playing on the maps and things, which I think is really neat to see them with the minis on them and just to see how high quality they actually are at a table yes. i think really really does it but uh, i found this little look at this here i got a whole lineup these are things you can find at gen con yes although there are there are doubts that book of ebon tides will make it because shipping and customs and 
We're gonna keep, yes. we're gonna Ooh, keep our hey, hopes world up. building. Ooh. Yep. World building volume two, the other one there in the corner, that one already won the judges spotlight award as like the favorite of one or more judges. So we've already won one any award. And if we win the other <laughs> one, yeah, yeah, we just right. need one more. We need one one for both hands. <laughs> Kobo Guide to World Building Volume 2 is a fantastic volume. And it's probably the one I'm going to talk most people's ears off about this year. Um, because I don't have an essay in it or anything. I wrote like so much in Kobo Guide to World Building Volume 1. It's like, I feel I've said my piece. Yes, that one. But, uh, you know, Veronica Roth's in there and Keith Baker and... Um, I'm gonna yeah, Gail Simone. Gail Simone did a piece, and Ken. Yeah, right. Um, so that one's already an any winner, and I guess we should we should tell everybody that at the booth, right? It's an any winner. Just buy it, please. Yeah, just You're, just put it. Just it. yeah. <laughs> um, we do have a good question. I know usually we end up with audible versions for audiobooks. Are we planning on doing that for world building as well? Is that on the docket? Yes, World Building Volume 1, the audiobook is already out, and World Building Volume 2 is um, is just weeks away. Uh, we, we have the same narrator who did Volume 1 has returned for Volume 2, and that audiobook should be coming. Um, it may not make it before Gen Con, but it will be here. Yes. Great, so we can at least be on the lookout for it. Um, the same thing I know with Book yeah. of Ebb and Ties, if it doesn't make it for Gen Con, that means it is like, it will be hot and fresh uh, soon afterwards. Um, right? Like so, we're yeah. going to come back to the Cobalt Warehouse and there's going to be like pallets saying, while you were out. Uh <laughs> now I can say if you need your Book of Ebon Tides fix, we also have a live show for Book of Ebon Tides, which I'm going to be, um, I'm very excited to be GMing. And we've got another uh, really awesome crew, Noir Enigma, Danny Quanch from Roll20, yes. um, Eugenio Vargas and um, Rocket Fox are all joining us for this on stage. And that one's also broadcast to Gen Con TV. That's a late night for those of you in Europe. So sorry about that. But it is Thursday, 10 p.m. Um, and we'll be giving a little snippet preview of what you might be getting in the finalized book um even if it doesn't yeah. make it so we're trying to make sure you get your 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 uh, your your cobalt press full spectrum uh, uh uh this year at gen con we're very very excited i think for the lineup i know can i show up that we're not selling at the booth ever oh man are you gonna are you just rubbing it in our faces i'm, I'm i should make it big yeah so this is my personal copy of Tome of Heroes. Well, so it's the hand-bound leather edition, and it does like this on the spine, right? It's got the nice spine. Oh, it's got, mm, yes. Um, and it's got the beautiful end papers, which I'll just, yeah. And yeah, I don't wow. know. I'm almost afraid to use it, right? But I'm I'm flipping through it, and it feels great because, I don't know. Looks it looks great. great in the interior, right? But, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I used to do the hand-bound editions and just send them to Kickstarter backers who wanted the, the leather edition. And and then at some point I said, I would like one. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a so good I, copy to get a version have, of because it's really nice. Yeah, I don't, right? So um, the hand-bound Book of Ebon Tides, I think, is also going to blow people away because, well, yeah. Anyway, and the limited edition. Ooh, speaking of limited editions, I don't have one for Tome of Heroes, but a little bat told me that the limited edition of Tome of Heroes is going to be at Gen Con at the booth. Okay. Like, we have enough limited edition Tome of Heroes that we're bringing, I don't know, 12, 20? Okay. A couple. Okay, so a couple. Okay, so if you really want to get your hands on, so like uh, collectors a nice copy. who missed it, still get your chance. Yeah, yeah you I still mean, get your chance. If I you love just it. want okay. to see how beautiful. It is. Yeah. All right, man. I was trying to think. Right. We've got so much got? going on. I know. What else have we missed? Not a whole lot. Now our whole list of panels online at Gen Con. Tickets for some of them, though not all of them, but we really appreciate the RSVP because sometimes we're limited on space. So if you want to make sure you can get in the door, you still want to go add it to your schedule. You still want to grab a ticket in advance. Um, 
Yeah, and then make sure to drop by the booth. And I know that depending on how you're interacting with us, whether it's a community game, whether you're attending one of our panels, we've got some postcards that are going to be going around, some really awesome things, and some cool stuff that you might be able to get swag-wise from the booth um, other than just books. So don't miss out on that. Ooh, yes, there is some swag that we can't show off because it, it is being shipped directly to the booth. Oh. Um, but yes, we're going to have some things there uh, that people might remember from last year, but also some things that you won't have seen before. Um, as always, we're, we're just trying to jam, you know, 200 pounds of goodness into a 100 pound booth. Uh, so, um, well, you know, we, we know all the tricks. Like at some point, this is something I saw first in Germany. If you have too much product and not enough place to put it, I've seen retailers just take cases of books, pile them high, and then put the table, like with the legs folded on top, um, just to maximize the storage space. But what I really want for Cobalt Press at Gen Con next year is the Styrofoam Castle that uh, that Gen Con used to have back in the day. Yes. So I don't know how we're going to build that Styrofoam Castle, but... <laughs> It feels feels like a company goal. Yeah, it absolutely does. Well, goals for next year, everybody. Now, somebody did ask, in case you are not able to attend at Gen Con, uh, what other conventions we might be attending. Uh, you can expect us at PAX U uh, later in the year. And I believe yeah. that we have... Are we going to go to Game Hole? Uh-oh. Sorry, you're breaking up. Oh, that's okay. Uh, are we headed signal. to Game Hole Con? Uh, we're going to be at at, uh, at PAX Unplugged, and then I think we're at Gary Con. I was about to say it Gary. And then Game Hole. Oh, yeah, we've got Game Hole this year. Yeah. So we'll be in Madison in October. That's right. Um, I think it's a much smaller group in Wisconsin, uh, but it's a fun show. Uh, anybody who's anywhere near Wisconsin should check it out. This is um, a great show. Game Hole is, yeah. It, and we're running a bunch of tables, I think. We're mm -hmm. doing the community yeah. events again, pretty sure. So basically what you plan to see um, at Gen Con, you'll plan to see at the other conventions. Um, maybe less panels, but same amount of gameplay, same products. Um, so yeah, make sure to check it out. If you can't join us at Gen Con, we're, we're coming for you. We got one con this year where we want to see you at our booth. <laughs> um, at yeah. least one con. Well, Anything and, else I mean, we forgot? And, oh. No, I, I mean, I guess it's fair to say for people who can't travel, um, it might be best to think about our Cobalt Chronicles program because we are running games once a month online. Um. <laughs> And the next one is at the end of August, and we talk about it on that events page that you put up earlier, Dot. Um, so if, you know, driving, hotel, the whole thing uh, is is not in the cards, or if it's uh, uh, it's just easier to pop in and meet, meet some of the kobolds and play some of our scenarios in the Chronicles Organized Play, I'd recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. And we use Start Playing Games to help organize that. So you can also go to startplayinggames.com and look for the Cobalt Community Games uh, there uh, where you can find out more information because I believe we run those every month. So there's a, a literal chance every month of the year to play games with the Cobalt Community. Yes. Um, thanks to um, all of you and the hard work of, of Victoria, our community manager. Um, so pretty uh, pretty cool there. Um I don't think I have a whole lot of other stuff. I mean, I say I don't have a whole lot of other. We're doing so much, and we've already gone over so much. But if you want full details on panels, the best thing to do is go check out last week's VOD. Uh, you'll get that over on YouTube this weekend. Uh, and I go through all the details of what you can expect from each panel, who the panelists are, when and where they will be. Um, this one, of course, covered a little bit more product. But uh, if you want to know more about Toma Heroes, since it is kind of our newest, shiniest freshest thing uh, on the market uh we have a couple kobold chats of the past also vods where i crack it open for the first time and we take a really in-depth look and our players from the athena show edge of the world sat down into some of their character building live uh with us so you can check that video out as well if you want to see other people 
breaking Man. Tomohiro's apart and using it for Yay. their character building. Yeah. So, uh, very, very cool. Um, have we shared some of their builds? We probably have, right? Yeah, we have. Well, I mean, you Maybe. can definitely see the new character art. Um, and actually, right after this at 4 p.m. over on the YouTube, we will be kind of secondarily premiering the uh, the first episode. So, if you missed it, now's your chance to get caught up because it'll happen again tomorrow night. Um, and you can check out the artwork. is just fabulous it's like so amazing oh no i lost wolfgang um it's so so very amazing the uh the artwork is it um oh he's back okay good i was about to say we did some character I'm popping art. In and out. Sorry. that's okay you look good you look good wolfgang um we uh we got character art we've got a new trailer uh and so you can kind of check out the behind the scenes before and then all the crazy shenanigans uh that they are that they're stepping through as they cross the wasted west and into uh, the underworld. Um, it's been it's been crazy. It's been a Ooh. little insanity. Yeah, they, there's two ghouls attached like Siamese twins, uh, or the really <laughs> da Dara cool. Uh, two of them. There's uh, let's see what else do we have. We have a paladin rogue shade, and we have a right. uh, minotaur barbarian who is one of the new classes out of Toma Heroes. And I don't want to spoil the surprise, but oh, I guess you could say he's a little it. thorny. No. Oh. Ooh. So, right. uh, yeah, so thanks to check out stuff to do because next week, everybody, starting on Tuesday, we are full Gen Con all week long. That means the channel may go dark, but we, Cobalt Press, are not dark. You can check us out on Gen Con TV. Uh, that'll be over on their Twitch channel, our panels and stuff. And then, of course, make sure to stay yeah. up on our social media where Victoria will be, I'm sure, avidly posting and sharing pictures. Uh, and if you ever have questions of where and how you can check us out at Gen Con, hit the Gen Con website and search for us under events and you'll get a whole listing of all the many places you will find three kobolds in a trench coat. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Kobolds in a trench coat should pretty much be our operating procedure. That's... <laughs> I feel like you said it won't be as many kobolds and I thought, oh, so we're going to remove one kobold from the trench coat. Okay, we're sending two instead of three. Right? <laughs> two kobolds. Uh, I mean, there's so... still going to be too many of us. We'll have pack tactics. It'll be fine. Well, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be great. Um, so we will, I say we'll see you all not next week, but the week after. Same Cobalt time, same Cobalt channel for more Cobalt chats where we talk everything Cobalt press. Until then, we hope to see you at Gen Con 2022. Drop by booth yeah. 1855 and come see three Cobalts in a trench coat. <laughs> Woohoo. See you all there. All right, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye.